Okay, so we're going to start using ArcPython and our ArcPy modules. And um, in order to better understand them, we're going to be looking at a couple useful ways to explore environment settings. So um, what I've done is I have imported the ArcPy module. And then from the ArcPy module, I have imported the environment uh, part of it. And so a quick way to explore uh, environments for like a workspace is that you can set your environment workspace and then you can do what's called a list environments that apply to this workspace. So if you do that, then it will tell you all of the little things here that you can set for your environment workspace. So if we run this, you can see that the environment scratch workspace is there. And this also tells you how to call it. So it's nice to be able to list them and then be able to use the correct uh, capitalization to call them. So, okay, let's explore a little bit more. So back in our Python idle, then um, editor, then we'll just, um, we'll erase this and we'll just kind of explore. So if you didn't have a clue uh, what this was, uh, I'm just gonna leave my workspace set because it's good for this um, script, but I'm going to print um, all the list environments and uh, tell you which ones apply to. So if we go into our catalog where we'll be working, we have a data set. It has uh, river lines, uh, raster of elevations, and also uh, parks streets. So um, these are vector data and this is a raster data. So in order to explore those um, and use our environments properly, let's just do a full list of everything, all the environments that we could ever use on these. Okay, so in here we've got new precision uh, and auto com comment and or commit and XY resolution. We've got a lot of different options here to um, specify, but some of the main things here, so snap raster is going to be when you're doing a spatial analysis on something for raster data processing. For raster analysis, uh, snap raster is going to be, so we could use our park streets if we look at the preview here. So if we go to park streets and preview, then we could see that we could use the extent of this to process uh, to clip a raster if we wanted to and we'll do that in our script so that will be when we start clipping we can use this um, environment setting as and then we can also use set our extent for our raster processing um, using these or we can just use a grid um, so won't get into too much of this but our scratch folder we'll probably want to set that because we want it to we did in our original script here we'll set our environment workspace which will output the files into the folder that we're working in which is lab flood We can also output, so our coordinate system, we could set our default coordinate system here, um, which would be useful for processing rasters. And so there's also a cell size that is also gonna be very useful. Okay, let's say that we now want to explore our uh, workspace and we just want to find out what's in it so we don't need to print our environments but uh, maybe we do want to uh, list the feature classes so we'll just 
Uh, so type in list. So it'll be arc pi dot list featured classes. And then so in here, if we want to just do a wild card to list all the feature classes uh, in the uh, in the workspace, then we can do that. Um, or we could do by feature. So then we want to list what the feature type is. And if we wanted to limit it to a feature data set, then we could um, also put it in as an option. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so it went through and it found a list of all the feature classes in our workspace. So there's two feature classes in our workspace. So the other thing that you could do with that, actually, sorry, is uh, you could put a wild card, which means that you're going to limit your search to, so say that you did uh, quote and then the value that you're looking for, then end quote. Uh, that'll only return the values of the name that you're looking for. Otherwise, you can do by feature type. So you could do by annotation feature, by arc, dimension, edge, junction, label, point, line. Uh, all of these options um, are there. So then you could do like an all, all data sets in the workspace. And then furthermore, in the third little spot you could do limit to feature class and you'd have to specify what feature class that you're wanting to find okay so we can kind of do the same thing with the list rasters um, so like in our case we have a dem in there so we want to print our list rasters Okay, so I've added arcpy.list rasters and then there's two arguments here um, so looking at the site, so the first one is to restrict by name. Uh, so you put your name that you want to find in there if you wanted to find it by name. Otherwise, you just leave it blank. Or you could do by raster type. Uh, so if you wanted to find all the BMP rasters in your workspace, then you go ahead and, or in your work folder, then you go ahead and do that. Or whatever is listed here. So if you specify image or JPEG or whatever, it's only going to return the ones that you specify here. So in this case, if we did it by TIFF, uh, it would only find the TIFF image that is in our catalog here. So this one. So let's go ahead and run that. OK, so it found our two shapes because of our first argument, and that we also have one TIFF raster in here. 